The challenge now is, is that is is that people at a younger and younger age are, are, are discovering that they have at their disposal the tools to make change. Wealth, celebrity, the ear of the media, the willingness to dream outrageous dreams. I mean, we forget about the fact that if it weren't a bunch of you know, teenagers jumping on boats and sailing over here, well, boats, we wouldn't even call them boats. We wouldn't ride them in an amusement park. And they discovered the Americas, okay? If they'd been, had half a cent brain in their head, they would have said, what, get on there, risk scurvy, live with rats, you know, on top of each other, to go sail into what, where I'm gonna meet who? No. But the same kind of thing is propelling some outrageous, outrageous adventures, and we don't know where they're gonna lead. Um, I, think, I, I guess you either have to trust the heart of humanity, or you have to look at it as a sort of um, bad joke. Uh, and say, you know, we really can't trust it. I'm of the school that you got to trust those things. You got to trust those instincts. You got to trust what the world is telling you. You got to trust what your body's telling you. You got to trust what your instinct is telling you. And you look in the world for things that reflect it back to you with the least distortion. And when you get that, you get the community of mythic image, you get the community of shared minds, the shared vision, and the, and the energy to go forward and take on some of those tasks that, utopian though they might be, they, they seem impossible but not, not when there's a bunch of you.